Hey everyone, I'm Brad and this is Trail Recon. And today we're in the shop again with the San Diego Jeep Club's project build. And today they are installing Rock Hard's front and rear seat harness bars so they can install the five point seat harnesses, seat belts with the new PRP seats they got. And I've got Matt here. Matt is here to help out. Matt, thanks for coming out today, brother. I appreciate no problem. it. No problem. Matt and I have been wheeling together for a while with the San Diego Jeep Club and you have got a very cool ZJ dude. What is it about the ZJ that you love so much? It's original, not many people have them. Yeah. So it's just good to see originality. It's a very cool ZJ, man. And I know I don't see a lot built the way you've built yours on the road. And I know you wheel it hard, man. So it's very cool. All right, so what we're gonna do today, guys, is they are going to test fit these. They're gonna drill some holes. We're gonna make sure everything is level and then send them off to powder coat and bring them back and then we'll do a final install. You ready to get started? Let's do it. How hard do you think it's gonna be? The Jeep, it's never easy. Right. So what we're gonna do, in order to get access to this B-pillar area here, we're gonna pop this cover off of the seat belt and then get access here. We're gonna remove this, take the seat belt off and then it'll allow us to take the cover off to get clean access to the, uh, the section. The front harness bar slides between the two B pillars and to ensure you get this aligned properly, you really are gonna want to have an extra set of hands. It was nice having Matt on the team today. After you get the bar at the height you want it at, be sure to get a level out before doing anything else. Once you get everything aligned and you're happy with the level, get out a pen and start marking the holes and get ready to drill them out. We're gonna first start off drilling the smaller hole just so we can make sure we stay on center. Then once we get the smaller hole, we'll step it up and then use the, uh, the actual drill bit to drill out the full hole. Now that we have the pilot holes drilled out, we're gonna use the 17 30 second drill bit to drill out the full hole. Here's our 17 30 second inch uh, hole. As you can see, the bolt is not going to go through. So we're going to step it up and we're going to use a uh, quarter inch uh, drill bit to get through. So what we've done is we've drilled the bottom two holes on each side. This is going to allow us to fit it into place. We're going to get the mounting screws. We'll put the nuts on. So what we're going to do is tighten up these two bolts first. Uh, we're going to close this in, make sure that we get all this lined up, uh, and then see how close we can get here and then drill these holes out. You'll see there's a little bit of a gap here. We're going to see if that closes. We don't want to pull the B pillar uh, from the Jeep frame in, uh, and obviously this is a thick piece of steel, so it's not going to pull out. So we may need to put a, a spacer in here just to bridge that gap. We tighten the bottom two, now we're gonna drill the top two to get the right placement for the top holes. Put the top two bolts in. The third one uh, came pretty flush uh, with the B-pillar frame. The top one's got a little bit. We don't wanna tighten it up too much. I don't wanna bend this in too much. So I might went up and get a, a washer or a small spacer in there just to uh, uh, complete that load, that transition into the uh, into the harness bar. Getting this front harness bar all fitted was a simple and straightforward job that didn't take long at all, and it was easily done with just some basic hand tools. So Matt, we're going to roll up these uh, roll bar padding. Okay. Um, so just up top here is the zipper. We're just going to unzip this, take it down. Now I'll also open this up here. There we go. Well, let me get the bar and we'll test fit this in. Cool. Basically, so on the picture that I've seen on the Rockfire website, the really placement is anywhere kind of from halfway down to bottom here. But we do want to line it up so we can use the five point harness and the seats and get these strapped in as well. I need to find a, a good point. So as we move this down, this should raise the bar up. All right, so I think what we can do is we don't really should need the to. Level? What's that? The level, make sure it's. Well, I think what we can do is uh, get the collars. We okay. put the collars on, maybe just put it in a little bit, gotcha. okay. uh, and then see if we can level it out. And then we can mark it here on the bar. True. You know okay. I mean? So you, can you hold that for a moment? Yeah, I got it.
I'm marking this so after we come back for powder coating, we know exactly where to put the collars. All right, folks, now that we have the test fitting complete, we're gonna take them over, get them powder coated. After the powder coating is complete, then we're gonna permanently get them installed into the Jeep. All right, just pick these up from the powder coater. Now we're ready to get them installed into the Jeep. So how long did it take to get those done, John? Uh, a couple days, just dropped them off with the powder coater, uh, got them done. They usually do it in groups, so this is done with the other group of black. Paid a little over 100 bucks for both these bars, as well as the collars that go on there, it's a good price. And the powder coating is gonna last uh, a little bit better than the paint, that's for sure, and it'd be a lot cheaper. Nice, we gotta do anything before we put those on there? Uh, we're gonna, in this one part right here where it's the collars, we're gonna re-tap that just to get out any of the powder coat that was left in and get some of the extra metal out. Okay, we bolt them up and then we're all set? You got it. Let's do it. Now we got a couple options while we're mounting the rear harness bar. We can leave this uh, padding in place and then Rockhart says we can cut a sliver in it and then put the harness bar in and put the, the collar inside of it. Uh, but we're just going to unzip this and kind of move it out of the way for now. That way we can install the harness bar right to the bar here. Now John, one very important installation piece that we forgot. You know, for us it's been a couple weeks since we've done this, but for the viewers it's just been a couple minutes. And last time uh, we had Matt here. That's, that, that's not Matt, that's my son Jordan. So he's here helping us in the garage today, guys. Yeah. So what we're gonna do on the locking collars here is just kind of fit them in place to get everything kind of started and locked in place. And then we're just gonna tighten them down just a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna walk over to the other side, tighten them down, and then kind of go back and forth to make sure that we have an even tightness across the board. So when we tighten the bolts down on the collar, we're gonna do it in a crisscross pattern. So we're gonna start off on the top right here, and then work our way over here to the bottom left, and then the top left, and then the bottom right, and then we're gonna start in the middle and work our way across. And then we're gonna do that same thing in a pattern until we get a really tight seal. With the rear harness bar all mounted, bolted up, and powder coated, I've gotta say, it looks really good. The guys did a great job on this. All right, so we're gonna keep the trim pieces that are on the side of the Jeep here. Remember, we already drilled out the holes. There's four holes that are gonna mount the rear harness bar for the front seats. And then we're gonna measure out from the center of the hole, or actually from the top of the hole, uh, to the uh, top of the metal here. And then we're gonna mark the plastic so it knows, so we're gonna know where we're gonna cut here to open that area up. So it looks like we got about three eighths of an inch from the top to the top of the hole. and just about a half an inch from the bottom to the bottom of this hole. So we marked off the plastic pieces where we're gonna cut. So we're gonna cut in about an eighth of an inch uh, down, go across here and then back down again. And then we'll test fit this, make sure it works. John, they're uh, done, man. It looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. What do you think? Yeah, uh, now it's going to give us the opportunity to hook up the five-point harness to all the seats now. So before, when we didn't have this, we were just using a lap belt or the factory seat belts. 
Now we're going to be able to run the harness bar uh, and then the seat belts up to the top connecting to the bar and then have all the Floyd five point system in. Now have you ever used five point harnesses full time? No, this is the first time I'm using it. So it's going to take a little while to get used to. It's going to probably be a little bit of work to get into it. A little bit longer than just getting the, the seat belt and placing it over you. Right. Got to hook up all the uh, points, get them all laced in. Uh, but when I tested pulling them apart, it's got that latch on you pull yeah. apart and it just breaks apart. Well, you're up in the safety factor for sure. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Well, I think it looks good, man. Uh, now what's, what's next on the agenda? There's still a lot to go, right? So you notice we got a couple components that were installed. We have axles on the way. We have suspension uh, that's going to get installed. So we got a little bit more to do before nice. we get to a final project. Right. Well, we're going to get this thing on the trail not too long from now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something about installing this. I think it's a very worthy, good safety upgrade. If you are visiting the channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a member of the team. And if you have not been over to the San Diego Jeep Club's website, make sure you go over there and visit them at www.sdjc.rocks. Thanks for watching.